Yes, you guys, can we just thumbs up this video? Hit that thumbs up button just for how flawless this foundation looks, you guys. I'm gonna give you guys the deets on this. I had the footage filmed for it, but a lot of it just didn't look right, so I had to redo it. So it's okay because I was actually planning on doing like a blog post today, so it worked out. So the makeup look is a little bit different from what I had on yesterday. It's a little bit more simple because I want you guys to actually see the foundation instead of a more dramatic eye look. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my first impressions on this Hourglass foundation. So let's just go ahead and get straight to the video. So before I actually start the tutorial today, I'm going to, I just use a little bit of Jouer. This is their lip enhancing conditioning treatment. I don't need a lip enhancer, but this works really well. But I'm going to go ahead and do the Hourglass first impressions today. I have to do my makeup anyway, and I'm gonna use the Hourglass foundation. So today is gonna to be the first impression. I'm using the color Almond. And if you haven't seen my haul video, you can definitely check it out. Before I get to the foundation on my face, I have the Smashbox. This is their Photo Finish Primer, and I put that on already, and I did my brows off camera because we'll be here all day. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into the actual first impressions of the Hourglass. Now, I used a Beauty Blender yesterday, and it worked really well, so that's what I'm gonna use. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender. And I'm just looking in my mirror on the side. Now, just applying it to the skin first off, I, I tried it on my hands in the store and I didn't even know if this color was gonna match or not. So it was kind of like, if the color didn't match, but I liked the foundation, I would've went back and got a different color. But the color ended up working out really nicely. And just applying it to the face, it feels like it has kind of like a, a matte finish. And um, I kind of want to try it without a primer too. And I'm not sure if it's because of the primer that I just used. The Hourglass Photo Finish gives you more of like, it has like a oil-free silicone feel to it. So I'm not sure if it's like extra matte because of the primer I put on first or the actual foundation. So one day I will try this foundation out without the primer. And I will say this foundation, I had it on yesterday when I filmed that video for you guys. And the foundation, I kept it on for at least five or six hours. And it didn't start getting, it didn't start getting oily in my T-zone and starting to break up like around my nose area till around like six hours after I filmed. So it really, it held up really nicely. And then, like I said, as far as the color, it really blended well. I didn't notice that it oxidized or anything. Yeah, so far, like I said before, this isn't really a first impressions now because I had it on yesterday and I kind of just was able to see how long it lasts on the skin and how well it did with me. So I love it. Um, just being straight up with y'all. <laughs> I love the look of it. Now with this foundation, it is buildable, so normally, like this looks fine here, but I still see like a little bit of my skin peeking through like in this area, and not as much on this side, but just like kind of my nose area and this area over here. So I may go back after I'm finished and just put another coat on top, just for a fuller coverage. And also, it doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. It feels so lightweight. So I feel like this would be a perfect summer foundation. And I say that because it's very lightweight and you don't feel like you have anything on your skin. Now, if you're in hot areas, you would probably definitely need a primer. Hourglass has an amazing primer, the Veil primer, the Mineral Veil. I used that a while ago, ran out, and I just haven't got any more of it. So I would definitely recommend the Veil primer to go with this. And I feel like your foundation would last you even longer 
it didn't it didn't start off red like some of the other foundations I've tried before so I like that about it and I'm only putting a little bit more on because I want fuller coverage and I'm getting ready to like I said before go take pictures so that's the only reason if I wasn't going to film and I was just going out the first coat would have been enough for me You can see how this foundation looks it's still you still have a little bit of luminous luminosity to it so I don't know if I would even say it's matte it might be a satin foundation like a satin finish you guys yeah it looks really nice so we're gonna move on for the concealer I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape And thank you to one of my subscribers for telling me that Tarte has 30% off. I didn't know. I went over there and um, I put some things in my cart, but I'm definitely going to go and get another of the Shape Tape Concealer because I'm pretty much addicted to this stuff. I have not used any of my other concealers except for the LA Pro every now and then to just kind of like highlight underneath my brow area. But I've been using the Tarte Shape Tape for pretty much everything even as a base for like my eyeshadows. I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape and put it over my eyes just to prep my eyes for shadow today. I'm not gonna do too much of a intense shadow. I'm gonna keep it kind of neutral. To contour, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Contour Kit and I have not used this in forever, you guys. I normally like to mix Express, no, what is this one? Okay, I like to mix Espresso and Havana together. To highlight underneath my eyes and set my contour, I'm going in with my Maybelline Loose Powder. This is how it looks right here. So I just finished applying the rest of the powder to my highlighted areas. Now I do, before I go to the eyes, I wanna try out this Milani Baked Bronzer. This is the Soleil. And I just played around with it before. I never tried it on my face. Let's see how it's gonna to look today. And I'm using the, the Sigma F64 brush. It's a soft blend concealer brush, but I'm gonna use it for highlighting or bronzing. We're gonna see how this looks. They say it's a bronzer, but it has highlight in it, so we're gonna use it as a highlight today. It gives a subtle highlight, so I like that. Kind of like a topper. I'm liking it, you guys. I'm still gonna probably put my original highlight on with it, but it gives you kind of like a sun-kissed look. So I'm gonna put a little bit up here too. Which I like a lot. I didn't think I would like it. I think I even said before that I didn't, and I never tried it on my face. I just swatched it on my hands and saw, I figured it was too light, but it still works as a nice subtle highlight, so. Go back in with my contour palette and use the Espresso as my transition color today. I'm not putting too much color in my eyes. I'm going to keep it kind of neutral looking. What I like to do is apply my highlight before my setting spray dries like completely on my face. So I'm going to go in with my Estee Lauder Heat Wave and apply that with my Jumbo Kabuki Fan Brush from Crown. For my lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Barb Life Lashes that I featured in my Sephora haul, and these are in the name Snatched. For my lid color, I'm gonna go in with Nutmeg, I 
I did my lashes off camera and I'm just applying some setting powder underneath my eyes. For my bottom lash line, I just used a black liner from MAC. And then for my lipstick and lip liner, I use Chestnut. The lipstick I have is Jubilee. Put some more on. The one that I just hauled in the haul as well. And then my package came, if you follow me, if you watch the haul that I did, my package came from MAC. I ordered one thing and I ordered it from their, I forgot what collection this is, the Work It Out collection. I ordered it from their Work It Out collection. I think that's the one that this one is. Not really sure, but this is their Crystal Glaze Gloss and Nice Cheeks. I saw these online and I was like, oh my gosh, but everywhere they were sold out. When I went to the MAC store, the closest one to me, they were sold out. So I saw they had it online, so I grabbed it really quick. I'm not sure how it's gonna look, but this is the color right here. Isn't it just gorgeous? I don't even wanna swatch it, but I wanna put it on my lips today, so. So this is a finished look with my foundation and everything on. Basically, my thoughts on this foundation are that I love it. I already knew how much I love the foundation, but I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys. Crazy thing is, you guys, when I was editing my video yesterday for the haul, I just kept looking at my skin and how great it looked with this foundation on. I had been telling all my friends, even told my mom and sister about this foundation. So I definitely recommend it, you guys. There are a whole bunch of shade ranges for women of color out there too so if you do try this foundation out let me know if you have tried it let me know your thoughts on it too because this foundation is amazing people were not lying when they were reviewing this and i can even tell when i saw other people's reviews how great their skin looked that's honestly what made me want to try out this foundation myself because if i see a foundation and i see that it looks a little bit dull or it's a little cakey then i would like eh. You know, I'll try it later, but this foundation was one that I had in the cart for a couple of weeks and I was just debating because of the price, and I'm glad I did. And for those of you that are still on the fence about it, you can look at this review, look at other reviews. You know, you don't have to just base it off my opinion. I'm interested to see how it holds up this summer because I'm definitely going to be rocking this foundation for a while. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Hopefully you all enjoyed this review or first impressions on the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one.